Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions on Ubuntu 24.04. So to get started, VirtualBox Guest Editions are a collection of device drivers and applications that are designed to achieve better integration between the host and the guest operating systems. So essentially, the guest editions enhance user experience by improving interaction and performance of the guest systems. So the guest editions offer the following key benefits. So first, we have improved graphic performance. So with guest editions, you get faster graphics rendering and improved video playback. Additionally, it also allows you to automatically resize your window. So this allows you to resize the guest OS display resolution to match the size of the VirtualBox window, or you can also scale full screen to match the size of your host system window. Also, you get the functionality of shared folders. So here you can easily share folders between the guest and the host system, thereby providing convenient access to files without necessarily having to configure file uh, shares such as Samba or NFS. Also, you get the functionality of shared clipboard and drag and drop feature. So this allows you to share clipboard contents and also drag and drop between the host and the guest operating system. And finally, you get better mouse integration. So here you can seamlessly use your mouse between the host and the guest operating system, eliminating the need for capture and uncapturing the mouse pointer. All right, so now with that brief introduction out of the way, let's get our hands dirty and see how to install the VirtualBox Guest Editions on Ubuntu 24.04. So the first step I'm going to do, I'm going to open my terminal. So I already have my terminal opened. Then I'm going to reload systemd files. So this is a fresh installation and the first step is to reload the systemd files. So I'm going to run the command sudo systemctl daemon reload. Then I'm going to hit enter. I'll be prompted for my password, which I shall provide. I'm going to hit enter. All right. Then the next step, I'm going to update the local package index by running the command sudo apt update. Then I'm going to hit enter. So this will reload the local cache, as you can see. And uh, we are done. Next. So I'm going to clear the screen. So the next command, I'm going to install the prerequisite packages for building the kernel modules. And to do so, I'm going to run the command sudo apt install dkms build essential Then I'm going to install the Linux kernel headers. So Linux headers dollar sign then you name hyphen r all right then i'm going to hit enter okay so as you can see this is quite a large package all right so continue to continue i'm going to press y on the keyboard and hit enter so as you can see the installation of the prerequisite packages is underway and this will take about a minute a minute or two so just be patient as the installation progresses. And there we go. We have finished the installation of the prerequisite packages needed for building the kernel modules. All right, so at this point, what you're going to do on the menu bar, go to devices, as you can see, now click on devices and head over to insert guest edition CD image option. So I'm going to click this. All right. So when you click on this, you'll see a CD icon, uh, the VirtualBox CD icon uh, on the dock, on the left dock, as you can see. So here I'm going to minimize the terminal. So on this CD icon, just double click on it. So this will open a window as you can see here. Okay. So here I want you to locate the autorun.sh file, which is this one here. So 
right click on it and select run as a program okay so here you'll see this pop-up window that requires your password for authentication so i'm going to provide my user password and click authenticate or you can also press enter on your keyboard so this is going to install the virtualbox guest editions okay so as you can see this opens up in a terminal as you can see and uh, all the required modules and packages will be installed shortly so as you can see the installation is underway and uh, this will take a few seconds to a minute so once again just be patient as the installation goes on okay so at this point when you see press return to close the window so yeah what you're going to do is just to press enter okay so now we are going to close this window and i'm going to open the terminal so i'm going to clear the screen then i'm going to reboot the virtual machine so i'm going to run the reboot command okay so we will we'll be back once the vm reboots so i'm going to hit enter and we'll be back shortly once the system has successfully rebooted okay so we are back again so here's the login screen so here i'm going to log in all right so i've provided my password so just wait for for you to get to the ubuntu desktop okay and there we go so what you need to do is to grab the virtual box window as you can see so grab like this and uh, and as you can see now we have a full screen uh, virtual box guest os like that okay so as you can see we have a remarkable change from what we had previously okay so here you can see we have a full screen which provides a much better visual representation of the guest OS. So as you can see, we have fully scaled to the screen of the host system. And uh, let's try something more ambitious. So you can come to input or rather you can come to devices here and you can turn on shared clipboard. So here I'm going to select uh, by directional. Okay, so let's test this out. So I'm going to open my terminal okay so once i open my terminal so here we go all right so i'm going to try to copy something from my host system to the guest os so i'll open my browser here so here i'm at the snaps page so i'm just going to try and copy this command uh, so do snap install ocular so ocular is a document viewer so let me see if i can successfully paste it here okay so i'm going to right click and click paste all right, so as you can see, now you can copy from the host to the, you can copy from the host to the guest, okay? Alternatively, you can also do the reverse. So let me open a text editor. Uh, so here we are. So let's say we want to copy this URL. google.com okay so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it on my host's browser okay so as you can see we have successfully managed to copy uh text to and fro the guest and the host os okay and uh, that's pretty much about it for this lecture so in this lecture we have seen how to install the virtualbox guest editions on ubuntu 24.04 so if you found this video insightful please do leave a like and subscribe to help me continue making more of these videos so see you in the next lecture